Hey everyone. Now this is going to be hopefully just a quick video to show you how to use capture filters to filter for some layer 2 protocols like LLDP and ARP okay, without capturing the whole lot and then relying on a display filter. So I'll have a look at this now. Okay, if I just start a, a capture without any filters anywhere, we'll see everything that comes in here. So you can see we've got a bit of ARP. They'll, if I uh, ping Google, if I just ping the, the address, you can see some ICMP stuff, you can see some PIM stuff, IPv6, it's all coming in. So if I just want the host of Google, right, I just wanna, I want this 8888 host, what I'll do for a host IP address, just do uh, host and then the IP address. Then all you'll see is things that contain that host IP address, okay? So there it is, there's nothing else now coming in the capture. You probably already knew that. So let's move up a bit from there. Now if I want to capture a layer 4 protocol like a TCP port 2049, just use that and then if I uh, do something that uses it, there you go, I've got some NFS traffic and that's all I see in the uh, display. Okay, so that's layer 3 and layer 4. But for layer 2, you can't use uh, a host or a port because there might not be an IP address, there might not be a port, okay? And unless it's up, there won't be an IP address. So I've got a nice little collection of frames here with some variety in them. Um, I've got an EAP frame here, I've got an ARP frame, something with TCP, some LLDP, and IPv6. Now some of those contain information at layer 3 and layer 4, but they all contain information at layer 2, so that's what we're going to look at. If I look at um, the EAP frame first, in the layer 2, which is this line here, you can see the usual source and destination address, but here's, how, here's our type. That states what sort of um, payload that frame has. And 888E in hex means it's, it's EAP, okay, for 8021X. Next one we'll have a look at is ARP. I'll even close down the higher layers. So here, same sort of thing. Source destination, and it's an ARP frame. So you can see this type is 0806. For, for uh, the next one, it's IPv4. So same thing, source destination MAC, and what's the type of payload? It's IPv4. So from there on, we get packets and uh, ports and stuff. Uh, LLDP, same thing, source destination. This type is 88CC. So 88CC means it's L LLDP. And the last one I've got here is my example, is uh, 86DD, which means the payload's IPv6. So what we can do is set a capture filter based on those ether types. Okay, so if I want to packet capture just LLDP, okay, LLDP's ether type was 88CC. So just go to the capture filter and type ether proto 88CC. So now when some LLDP messages come through, they'll come up on here, but as you can see, nothing else is coming up. Even if I could, I could be pinging, I could be arping, I could be doing whatever, but nothing's gonna come up until at some point an LLDP message will come in. There we go. So an LLDP message came in, okay? Nothing else got captured. If I stop that now, I've only got one single frame. So if you wanna capture something that's, um, you might be looking for EAP, for instance, I don't have any EAP set up at the moment, but if you want to capture EAP frames and there's just a world of other traffic around, what you would do, okay, I've got an example of one here for the EAP frames. You see that um, its ether type is, well, 8021X authentication. The value is 888E. So instead of 88CC, just go 888E. So now, I don't have any running, but now, will capture just EAP frames. Okay, so that's how, that's how you do it if you wanna capture an ether type specific in your capture filters. Just put in ether proto and then the value. To find the ether type value that you're after, I mean, you, you could look them up, they'll be on a list somewhere, but um, you can just figure it out yourself. Just get an example of one that you know of, like ARP for instance, and you see it's type there, and that's what you will use in the capture filter. Okay, so 0806. 
So now the only thing that should come in there is up. If I ping something, so there's up coming in and nothing else. So there it is. That's how you capture for a given ether type. You just um, use, use one that you've got in as example to figure out the number, put it in as ether proto and that value, and then you'll capture it. So again, it's always best to be able to set up a capture filter for what you want. As long as you get it right and don't do a wrong filter and miss what you're actually looking for, get it right, get your capture filter so you don't have just wasted uh, disk space and, and sending large files around when you don't need to. Just keep it small. Uh, keep it focused and uh, you'll do well. So I'll see you next time.